not just a sponsor of your team, but also a fan. Phones you want, service you deserve. Prairie Mobile, your SaskTel authorized dealer. How long have you known, Morgan? I found out last night, so yeah, it's a pretty exciting phone call for sure. And the reaction was? I was, you know, I was a little bit relieved to be honest. You know, you never really know. Hockey Canada keeps those things pretty tight to tight to themselves, so that you don't really hear anything. You, know, you kind of try to dig around a bit couple days before, but to be completely honest, up until I got the phone call, I really had no idea what was going on. Are you more on the self-doubting side or the confidence side? Uh, you know, it's, it's hard because you, you honestly have no idea. I feel like I've been playing pretty well and contributing, but there's been a lot of good players that have been left off that list and a lot of good players that have made it. So, you know, like I said, I feel like I've been playing pretty good and the team's been playing well, so uh, I just really was, it was completely up in the air for me. I didn't know. Last year at this time you were regretting or, or disappointed you weren't on the list. What's the swing of emotion like to, to this year? Yeah, it's pretty exciting. I think that's kind of some of the things you go through throughout your hockey career is disappointments. And then, you know, it's a bit of a roller coaster. Today is definitely one of the one of the higher points where you know, my name was called and it's something that I'm very excited about. And you know, it's a, it's an honor in itself. But uh, even from U16 to U17, there's been a lot of steps even to get to where I am today. So this is another one, a lot of long way to make this team, and I'm just looking to go there and, and actually contribute now and make an impact that actually do play in the tournament, not just go to camp. One of the things they talked about on the uh, conference call was the fact that you've worn the Maple Leaf well over your career. What's the burden of responsibility like? Yeah, it's huge. I think this is going to be the biggest stage that I've definitely played on, uh, even if I get to play an exhibition game for, for the pressure in that sense because Canada is always expected to win. But, you know, I got two gold medals with, with, with the Maple Leaf on my chest, and now if I get a chance to, to play in that tournament, I'm just hoping to make it three. You won those with uh, Reinhardt and McDavid on that line. Hoping that one comes together, those, their names are also uh, so selected as well. Yeah, that's something that I've been asked a couple of times now is, you know, what I like to play on that line. Again, that's, that'd be... You know, a terrific honor is to play with those guys, even to play on the same team as those guys. So we did have some good chemistry in the past, and I thought Reinhardt and I played pretty well together at the Super Series. So if that's something they're looking to do, then you know, that's a pretty easy answer for me. That's something I'm definitely open to. Just two right wingers, I think, selected. I know you're naturally a left winger, but you have the ability to play on that right side. Is that maybe an advantage maybe you might have? Plus, you can play up and down the lineup. Yeah, I think my versatility is going to be one of my biggest strengths going into that camp, and you know that, that's what I told them when I had my meetings with them in the summer as one of my biggest strengths. And like you said, there's only two right wingers that got invited uh, to camp there, and I've been playing right wing a lot lately, and, and I think I've been doing a pretty good job of it. But you, know, you look at a lot of those players, I think they all kind of got those tools in their toolbox. So, you know, wherever they put me, I'm just going to make the most of it, and, and you know, just try to contribute what, in whatever situation I'm in. Are you prepared no matter how this turns out? I mean, you just see guys that are cut on the last day or whatever, they're devastated, and at the same time, you make the team. There's the pressure of playing the more fatigue. Game. Yeah, there's there's going to be you know it's a roller coaster like I said everything in the hockey world is so you know like I said I'm going to make the go go in there to make the team and that, that's my, my my goal first and foremost and you know, it's kind of hard to think about getting caught in the last minute but you know it's something I'm prepared to deal with but like I said I'm going to go there and do everything I can to make sure that doesn't happen. How about that BC road trip? It was phenomenal. I think that's definitely the best two week trip I've had in my my time in this league. You know, to go four and one and be the best team in the league was something that you know, I'm, I'm so proud of the guys for. Everyone contributed, all four lines played, and we had scoring chances from everyone. And Like I said, it was an unbelievable road trip. I said it before we left, it's one of my favorite trips of the year, but that was definitely the most fun I've had on the road with the guys. You can almost see the guys saying, okay, we were great on the road. Imagine how good we are at home now. you got to watch the complacency come with tonight. Yeah, a little bit. I think you know we got one game back at home here, then we're right back on the road. But um, you know the team's playing so well, so well right now. We beat Kelowna, we beat... You know, Kamloops and Vancouver and teams like that. So we don't see those teams a lot, and to, to actually get those wins and play as well as we did as a team and have everyone contributing on the road, you know, and there's a lot of confidence in that room right now that we can play with anyone and beat anyone. So the Brown and Brown and games coming up are going to be a big test for us again. Do you think you can get the invite to Team Canada before the BC trip, before the Subway Series, or did something convince them along? Um, I don't really know. I think it's a, it's a combination of things throughout the year. They're not really looking at one thing, and I'm you know I wasn't really looking at one thing is. What stood out to maybe get my name called on that list, like I said, even from U16, I think they started evaluating you, so it's been a long process to get where I am right now, and it's another step along the way to actually playing on that team. What went so well on this trip from your standpoint? Um, honestly, I didn't think we started off that well. 
I think in Vancouver we, we, we won the game, but we didn't play as good as we wanted to. And then after that Vic game, we just kind of we kind of realized how good some of the teams are, and you know, it may be a bit of an experience with us just first couple games on the road. But you know, everyone kind of bought in after that and just, just played the way we usually do. You know, we play four lines, we got two power plays that can score, and we got four lines that can score. So when you got that going, and you're one of the best teams in the league for goals goals against five on five, that's a good recipe for success. And like I said, we beat the best team in the league, so I think we can show that we can play with anyone.